Our next topic is uh, frequency stability. So frequency stability means it is the ability of the oscillator. It is the ability of the oscillator to maintain the oscillations at one particular frequency over the longest time period. So it is the ability of the oscillator to uh, keep the frequency as small as possible over a long interval. So the accuracy can be anywhere between 10 plus 2 and 10 power minus 10. The main drawback in transistor oscillators is that the frequency of oscillation is not stable during a long time operation. So this drawback is there in transistor oscillators because all the parameters are varying. So you cannot expect the transistor to be same as it was one year back. It would have worn out because of the various parameters, right? The following factors will contribute to change in frequency. If the circuit is not providing an accurate and a stable frequency of oscillation, what all the factors are responsible? First one, temperature. You know uh, semiconductor devices are temperature susceptible. So any change in temperature will definitely change the behavior of the device and variation power supply. So if the VCC value is constantly changing, then the Q point is not stable, so which will affect the frequency of oscillation. Unstable transistor parameters. We have seen in unit 5 how an Q amplifier becomes unstable because of the capacitance and the feedback elements due to climatic conditions. So uh, this is related more or less to your temperature change only and aging. Because of using the component for longer period of time, aging happens and aging will also change the frequency of oscillation. So because of all these things, what has happened, the effective resistance of the tank circuit is changed when the load is connected. So the tank circuit starts working differently when these parameters are going to have impact on your circuit. So due to variation in biasing condition and loading condition, if you frequently keep on changing the value of RC. RC is your load, right? So if you frequently keep on changing the value of RC, that will also make your circuit unstable and that will not help in maintaining the frequency of oscillations. So there is one parameter which will measure what is the variation in frequency with respect to temperature. It is called as S omega T. So yes, omega t means it is this uh, parameter which will see the change in frequency with respect to change in temperature. So denominator is temperature, numerator is, numerator is change in frequency. For how much degrees uh, change in temperature, how much my frequency is changing. So it is expressed in PPMC, parts per million per degree Celsius. For one degree Celsius change, how much is my frequency changing? Ideally, this has to be zero. Because whatever changes happen, the variation in frequency has to be zero. Ideally, zero. Practically, this value has to be as small as possible. In the absence of automatic temperature control, so you can, in the absence of if the temperature is constantly varying in the place where you have installed these oscillators, mean you can cancel the effect of temperature in this way. So you use an inductor which has positive temperature coefficient. So as the temperature is going to increase, L value will increase. You choose a capacitance which has negative temperature coefficient. As temperature value is increasing, the C value will decrease. So effectively, both of them will cancel each other. So the frequency of oscillation F0 is going to be constant. So one simple way of tackling this temperature issue is choose L and C having opposite temperature coefficient. It does not, it is not like L is having positive, C is having negative. You can also have L with a negative temperature coefficient and also C with a positive temperature coefficient. The ultimate effect is whatever change in component value we are getting because of change in temperature, it has to be cancelled out. Okay, it has to be cancelled out. One more parameter which defines frequency stability is S omega equal to d theta by d omega. So how much the phase angle is changing when the frequency is changing. So S omega is d theta by d omega. d theta is going to be the variation in your phase angle. Okay. So see here d theta is the variation in the phase angle for frequency F0. So d theta by d omega will clearly say what is the variation in the phase angle when the frequency is changing. So for tuned oscillators, this value of S omega is proportional to Q. 
and the stability can be achieved a very high stability can be achieved and a very high stability can be achieved in the circuits for lc oscillators a tuned circuit must be lightly loaded to preserve a very high value for uh, this uh, condition has to be met because we know that the quality factor for a tuned circuit should be high only when the quality factor is high uh, only when the quality factor is high, the circuit becomes more and more selective in nature. So as piezoelectric crystals have a very high quality value in the quality factor in the order of 10 power 3, they can be used in circuits where the stability is very high on PPM. So the frequency variation, the frequency variation is going to be very, very less if the stability factor is going to be very, very large so the frequency stability of oscillators is itself a very interesting topic where you really find out what all the parameters which are contributing to change in resonating frequency of your oscillator 